yo 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 like comment and subscribe uh email me questions you yeah, had to delete that last video about that end frame because it was short and um it just wasn't a really good video and i apologize for that and i want to um congratulate my people for subscribing thank you for subscribing y'all growing the channel i want to get at least you know more subscribers you know like the um like and share the videos you know what i mean and um so but recently i did get my truck out the shop that i did an in frame on and um i just want to let y'all know man like when this trucking thing it's more than just getting a truck out the shop um and that's you know the success is a marathon it's not just a, a absolute thing that just stops once you complete a goal because there's always another goal if as long as your heart is beating you know what i mean um you should never stop trying to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve so success is never you know what i mean it's like some people may be like well you're never satisfied i mean well when it comes to success success is never satisfied it always wants to keep growing and growing and growing you know what i mean and like you know so for example my you know it's easy to get humbled you know like my truck you know i spent around forty five thousand dollars just on the end frame and then probably spent about ten fifteen thousand dollars on other miscellaneous things you know it's a ten thousand dollar truck so of course i'm gonna have issues on it it's a ten thousand dollar cash truck you know so um i'm on my way to start this new job i'm gonna get into some more details of why I'm, where where i'm at where i'm at and um, how i got there and you know but i'm you'll see what i'm saying later on but uh the thing is is like so i picked my truck up and i drove to uh michigan to orientation at this job which i will reveal soon if things go good about it if not i'll do a review on how it's up but my truck broke down so i had orientation i got there um my, uh tuesday um tuesday night wait monday monday uh, night and then we had orientation on tuesday and then um i come back to my truck tuesday afternoon around five my truck don't start you know uh, yeah think about it i have my truck at the shop i done spent forty thousand dollars i told him man i got you know go ahead and do whatever you got to do to make sure this don't break down i'm talking about brakes whatever you you tell me that it's not working we can go ahead and get it done and um you know, uh, you got to think about these mechanics is, is like you could have a good relationship with the manager of the shop. But it's like there's different shifts and some shifts and some people's work ethic. You know what I mean? They might not tell the other shifts about like all oh, this problem going on because they're lazy. Some people some people are literally only at work just to uh, get a check. You know what I mean? But, you know, in this type of career field, you know, me, a mechanic's your best friend. And, um, and so basically what happened was, you know, I guess my batteries weren't charged correctly. And um, I think they I think they didn't clean my wires on the starter. Uh, there's ground wires and, and everything. So my truck ended up dying. And um, also there was a short or something uh, where there was this light coming on underneath my bunk. And when you take the key, I would still be on it. It was a halogen light, so it got hot, like you could blow on it. It was smoke, but I ended up unplugging that, so I shouldn't stop it from draining. But either way, my battery drained. They wouldn't st start. <clears throat> I even called out a guy that night, had him come out and uh, try to jump me. I even had this other guy, like a civilian, <clears throat> come out, <clears throat> and he tried to um, jump, help me. I mean, he was a nice guy. He even let me sit in his vehicle. He's like, I gotta go put my luggage in the hotel. And I was like, uh, I thought he was going to be like, hey, man, I'm done. I get, you know, but he was like, man, go sit on my truck and just, uh, I mean, in my, um, he had a little SUV and um, he um, went in there and I, you know, and um, let me try to charge it. And it, it just didn't do anything. Um, it was just, you know, it's a wrap. And um, I say this to say that, like, just because you spend money, that doesn't mean that, like, you're you're done and you're not <laughs> well you're in this trucking thing you're going to keep spending money it doesn't matter if you you can rebuild everything on that engine you can get every your your transmission every uh, everything done you can go buy a brand new truck and you're not going to be done spending money on that truck so i mean just keep that in mind 
Um, so it's like, you know, you don't get down. You just got to keep pushing through. You got to make phone calls. You got to get connections. And you want to keep your head up. And, um, you know, and, you know, be real with these people you're buying. You know, like, for, for example, the guy, he came out. Um, and he charged me, um, he wanted $390 to come out and, um, start the truck. He came out, couldn't even start the truck. You know I mean? I even told him, like, bro, like, you know, McAllister, they used, like, four things to crank this thing over. You know what I mean? So, yes, it, either way, but, um, so he came out with just one little battery charger. It was a, you know, industrial one, but not one of the tall ones that stand up with, you know, but, you know, it didn't charge. It didn't start. It didn't turn over and do nothing. So I still paid him. I was like, bro, like, I can't pay you that that 390 I ended up paying him, like, 250 or something like that. Um, but he was all like, man, it might be a starter. I think it's the starter. So I go and call Kenworth, and they had a starter, I think, luckily. And um, it was uh, it's the heavy one. It was, like, 500 something dollars with the... Uh, charge is like core the core charge is like 200 so i mean i haven't replaced the starter anyway so i went ahead and bought it um so i ended up walking back from um orientation this morning and um, um they're already working on it and um so they got the little you know the bat you know taking off the um, fairing so it can get to the batteries and uh you know, they were good guys, you know, I'm talking to them, like, man, I've been spending money, you know, which I had, it's fucking this morning spent fucking on the, on the thingy, on the whatever it's called, and then, uh, and then we ended up trying to jump it, still didn't jump, he had two batteries, and he said we're new, and they, they put them on, they didn't do nothing, um, so then he ended up, you know, I was like, man, let me just replace all the batteries, we replaced all the batteries, and then there was something with the connection with the ground on the starter, um, he ended up cleaning the wires on that, and then, um, and then it started right up after we got all them, you know, uh, batteries in, and, uh, the thing is, is, like, he ain't charged me nothing, I was like, what I owe you, man, and they were there from, like, probably, like, three to, like, probably, like, three to five, you know what I mean, and, uh, took me to get the batteries, you know, the batteries were, like, there's a core charge, it'd probably be, like, It'll be like six hundred dollars, you know, four batteries, six hundred dollars. But he ended up not charging me nothing. I mean, you just got to be real with people, and you know, what I mean, he under like I told him, man, I didn't spend a lot of money. You know, he came here yesterday, didn't do nothing, and I bought the batteries. I mean, I, you know, came and helped me get the batteries, and you know, I mean, honestly, if I could end up moving by myself, I could have probably got done it. But I had no tools. Now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start, you know, building my little tool t- chest with me. You know what I mean, like stuff done like that but i mean all i'm trying to say is is that like just be humble i mean even as far as successful that doesn't mean if you you know you can still be you i mean and and, you know let people know like yeah yeah you could be different as far as it's because you're successful and you know you work hard don't you know you know i'm not saying like don't just diminish your work ethic like it ain't special but you know i mean but at the same time you know when 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 the punches are coming at you you know what i mean you know just keep dodging them you know you know dodge them and keep dodging them and you know what i mean you don't got to do it flashy but just keep dodging them and boom and then then you hit them with the knockout punch you know what i mean so it's like you just got to keep going forward and forward never stop it no matter how sucky it is like you got to think about it imagine we spent forty thousand dollars and then boom, same day, something going on with the truck where it don't start. You know what I mean? We just, just got to keep your head up, keep going, always have a plan B, always have a plan C. And and so far, so far, every plan is to get back to plan A. You know what I mean? You can't be afraid to spend money because you're going to get it back. Just make sure you, you're spending on things like you can write off and things that are going to make you, you know, batteries are going to keep the truck running. The starter is going to keep the truck running. You know, the starter, I could take it back for the uh, the core, get that little, get all my money back. But at the same time, you know, I'm, you know, tomorrow I got to get my uh, equipment put in the truck for, you know, the uh, ELD and all that with the root stuff. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is tell them, go ahead and put this starter on. I already bought it. Go ahead and put it on while you're there. Um, go ahead and make sure all the connections and wires 
I want all the ground wires to it are good. You know what I mean? Make sure, you know, I just tell them to go through, you know, make sure all the electrical things as far as with the, with, with that component in that area is good. You know, with the, with the uh, solenoids, the ground wires, make sure everything's good with that. The connectors on the battery, you know, make sure that's all good for me. And, um, you know, so it's like, you just got to keep going. You know, you're going to spend money, but... You just got to real, realize that those little small failures are components to winning. Your failures is what makes you win. It's just if you quit, you lose. But just because you fail, that don't mean you lost. That just means you're preparing to win. And um, I think well, that's a good thing to end on that. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Email me questions and don't give up.